In the 1960s and 70s, this country's colleges and universities were centers for change. They spoke their minds, gathered to protest, and sparked a campus revolution. They went from being prosecuted for what they did to things they said. Scott McConnell was enrolled in the Master of Science for Teachers program at Syracuse's Lemoyne College. The Scott McConnell case was a pretty, uh, pretty remarkable one. Um, this was an excellent student, uh, about a 3.8 uh, GPA. Well, um, as an excellent had evaluation for his work in an actual class classroom. In which he Imagine his surprise strong discipline, when he was including of uh, uh, use of corporal punishment in some cases. This is for a class where he was encouraged to actually share his opinions on what he thought a good class w w would be. Then he was kicked out of the university citing a quote-unquote mismatch between his beliefs and those of the university. An associate professor at State University of New York, Fredonia, Stephen Kirshner was nominated for a full professorship. With the support of colleagues, his department head and others, Kirshner's promotion looked like a lock until he publicly criticized university policy that he believed infringed on students' rights. The university president signed a letter quite clearly saying that a professor at a public college's um, publicly stated opinions were the basis for him not receiving a promotion. This was so stunningly and shockingly unconstitutional that we decided we had to be involved. 